All the foundation element feature are only available when Story Zero plan is active. That is, you can only insert foundation elements in Story Zero. Double click on Story Zero in the structure tree to switch the plan view to Story Zero. Effectively, we are now looking at the column and wall stump below the ground level. If you have previously inserted pad footings, please delete all before proceeding. You would find it helpful to display column forces on the plan view. Go to Review tab, Visual Interrogation, Column Plan Display. Check Axial Loads. Check Bottom. Under Loading, check G, Q and First Load Combination, G plus Q Factored. Click OK and the axial loads will be shown on the plan view. Before designing pile caps, let us first review the foundation materials. Go to Building Setout, Edit Material. Select Foundation Floor. Review the concrete grade grade of steel. Click Grade 500, Edit, Next Rebar Diameters. Footing and pile cap share the same rebar diameter setting. Cancel. Cancel again. Cancel again. Let us review the foundation design settings. Click on Settings Center in Building Setout tab. Expand Foundation. The General tab generally applies to pad footing. However, there are several parameters that are used by the pile cap design. Lean concrete thickness extension affects the detailing of the pile cap. Pile safe working load factor will only affect pile raft foundation FE analysis. Ignore this for pile cap. Click on Design. Size and Depth Increment Steps affects the auto design of the pile cap size and depth. Minimum Steel Bar Size affects the design of the main rebars. Distribution Bar Size is used for secondary bars. Use Top Bars will ensure top bars are provided. Go to Pile Caps. Pile Shaft Type can be circular or square. Pick Square. Pile penetration is the amount of pile penetration into the pile cap. Ultimate compression and tension capacity should entered because factored load combination from analysis will be used to design the pile cap. Default pile length is used for 3D graphics rendering and does not affect the design of the pile cap. Pile spacing multiplication factor, distance to face, pile cap minimum and maximum depth and number should be reviewed. The rest of the settings are self-explanatory. You can refer to Help Center for details. Click OK to save and exit. To design a single pile cap, select a column, right-click, Insert Pile Cap. This will launch the Single Pile Cap Design dialog and automatically design the pile's arrangement and pile cap reinforcement. A summary of the design is logged at the top portion. At the bottom shows details of the design checks, both in X and Y direction. At the right is the graphical view of the pile cap. Geometry. Pile cap. Shows all the parameter of the pile cap, such as the number of piles designed, pile cap depth, pile data and pile capacity. These are by default inherited from the foundation pile cap settings. The superstructure column is automatically detected from the model. Eccentricity of the column can be applied by specifying X or Y offset. If you change the key parameters, example say decrease the number of piles, the pile cap will automatically be checked. As expected, the design will fail. If you change the ultimate compression capacity, you need to click design icon to redesign the pile cap and revise number of piles. Click design and the pile cap will be redesigned to the most current parameters. Piles location shows the coordinates of the piles with reference to the centerline of the pile cap. Eccentricities can be defined through offsets column. Enter the X or Y value, press enter, the piles and pile cap will be checked automatically. Change the offset back to zero. Pedestal. Check to add a concrete pedestal, which is enlarged stump above the pile cap. LX and LY is the pedestal size. You can input the shear key spacing and depth key for the pedestal. Shear key improves the punching shear and shear capacity. Uncheck this option. It's not a common practice to insert pedestal for pile cap, it's usually for footing. Analysis. Material. Concrete grade, rebars grade, and diameter is inherited from the global foundation materials settings. Unit cost is used for the cost optimization process. Options. Choose bending and shear design method. 
Design settings such as minimum and maximum pile cap depth can be changed. Column loads. Under loadings, there are three options. All combinations means the pile cap will be designed for each and every load combination. Envelope is the maximum design forces for all load combination. This is default. User-defined load can be used by keying values in the table. Alternatively, forces can be imported from a CSV, Excel file. Cancel. Output. Axial loads. Shows the resultant axial loads of each pile, which will be compared with the capacity. Green figure means pass and red figures means fail. Rebars. Shows the design reinforcement and the pass or fail status. You can overwrite the design rebars, the design is automatically checked. If there are major changes to the key design parameters, example concrete cover, click auto select reinforcement to ensure the design is refreshed. Design check gives a summary of design checks in each direction. Report and detailing. Select report options and create the design report. Review the design report. Close it. Results will only be updated and shown if a redesign is performed. Optimization. Click list candidates. This will list other possible candidates of pile cap arrangement and designed to achieve a more economy based on the unit cost of material defined. Double click on the candidate to choose. Click OK. Click design to automatically redesign the pile cap based on the latest changes, if any. The key design criteria are the least number of piles. Click OK. The pile cap will be inserted for that column. To design multiple pile caps in one go, multiple select all the other columns by holding down the control key. Right click, insert pile cap. This will launch the pile cap batch design module where we can auto design all the pile caps in a batch. Maximize the view. When you first access this batch design, all the pile cap are not designed yet, as shown by the red cross under status column. Selection. Click on any row to select it. Hold down control key for multiple select. Click reverse selection to reverse the selection. Click select slash clear all to clear all selection. Grouping. Columns can be grouped to yield a typical pile cap design using the grouping options. Group selected. Multiple select the column rows to be grouped by holding down control key and then choose this option. The columns will be grouped as shown in the label. Group by piles will group all columns with the same number of piles. This is not useful now as all pile caps are not designed yet. Ungroup. Click it to break up previously grouped columns. Before proceeding with design, let's review the foundation settings. This launches the foundation settings with the pile cap settings in focus. Change the ultimate compression capacity to 300 kN. Click OK to save and exit. Design. Check design, do not redesign, will only check and not change the existing pile cap design. Check design, redesign if fails, will check the adequacy of the pile cap and only redesign if it fails. Redesign all, will redesign all the pile caps fresh with the current settings. Pick this option. Click design all to begin batch design. Upon completion, information on the pile caps, such as of number of piles, depth, size and rebars will be updated. The design status will change from red crosses to green ticks. To use apply design combination, first, select a pile cap or a group of pile caps, then click this function. By default, the design uses envelope or maximum of all load combinations. You can uncheck this and then choose which combination to use. Click Cancel to exit. Import from CSV. User-defined column loads can be imported from a CSV or Excel file. Ensure that column and forces are set up in the format given in the sample file provided. You can use Excel to open this sample file. Click Cancel. Export to Report. Export this pile cap schedule to a standard report. Close the report. Export to Excel. Export the same pile cap schedule to Excel file. Click Pile Cap Design Report to produce the pile cap detail design report. All the exported reports will be automatically saved and made available for compilation in the Design Report Manager. Close it. Design Selected will launch the interactive pile cap design for the selected column row. 
Alternatively, double-click on any of the column label in the list to launch it. Double-click on one of the failed pile cap design. This is the same interactive pile cap design dialog, which we have covered earlier, when we inserted a single pile cap. Scroll down on the design summary. The punching shear check fails marginally. Punching shear can be improved by increasing the pile cap depth. Increase the pile cap depth say by 50 mm, then click on another cell to refresh design. It now passes. Click OK to save and exit. You may do the same steps for any failed pile caps. Click OK to save and exit. The pile caps will be inserted under the selected columns, as shown on the plan view. In the structure tree, the pile cap elements are listed in the pile caps and pad bases folder. If you wish to update or review the pile cap design again, simply select a single pile cap or multiple pile caps, right click, choose properties. Cancel. Go to drawings and reports tab. Pick pad base and pile cap details. Pile cap details with reinforcement will be created in the new view. To produce the actual DXF or DWG drawings, you must use Proto details.